Guess what? There's more Nations League action coming our way, and I've got your bets covered. We hit a nice plus 330 parlay on Wednesday, thanks to Poland, so let's keep that going. Here are my best bets for Friday's matches. Ralph Ranić, remember him, United fans? Well, in case you forgot, he left Man United to take charge of the Austrian national team. On Friday, he'll be in Croatia for his first match in charge, and I don't think it's going to go very well. Croatia haven't lost since losing on penalties to Spain at Euro 2020. They also do their best work at home. They're unbeaten in their last five matches in front of their home fans. And historically, it doesn't look good for Austria either. Head to head, the Austrians have lost every single match against Croatia. There's only been five of them, but still, it doesn't paint a very nice picture. There could be more bad news for Ranić. Real Madrid star David Alaba may not be risk following the Champions League final. That could leave Ranić with a patchy defense, something which he should be used to after his run at United. All right, let's keep this one simple and don't complicate it. Take Croatia on the line at even money. There's been a few mouth-watering ties this week, and France versus Denmark is another one that you can add to that list. The current World Cup and Nations League champs are in fantastic form. Seven straight wins since September, and listen to this, they've now gone 20 games without defeat in normal time. Incredible. Looking at their squad for this international break, there are some notable absentees, such as Paul Pugba, Olivier Giroud, and Ismani Dembele. Not having Pugba could hurt them in the middle of the park, but they can more than make up for that up front with Mbappe, Griezmann, and Benzema. Seven wins and nine shows Denmark have not struggled for form since their semi-final defeat to England at the Euros. The Danes shouldn't be taken lightly, and they can make a game of this. There's a ton of experience throughout this team, and the return of a healthy Christian Eriksen will only make them better. I'm staying away from the line, and I'm backing Denmark to win or draw the double chance at plus 125. Also, I have a little sprinkle on both teams to score at around even money.